Let's balance the equation for Ba3N2 plus HF. We'll also look at the type of reaction. So let's look at the type of reaction first. It looks like the barium and the hydrogen are switching places. So since those are switching places, this would be a double displacement reaction. That's the type of reaction. So the first thing you need to do is count the atoms up. I've already done that. There's really not anything that tricky here about this equation. We could balance the bariums first. We could put a three here. This three goes to everything. The one times three, that would give us three bariums. And then the two times the three for the fluorine, that would give us six of those. We might as well balance the fluorines. We could put a six here. So one times six, that's for the hydrogens. That equals six, and then the one times the six for the fluorines, that would balance the fluorine atoms. At this point, we have two nitrogens here and one here. Let's just put a two right here, one times two. That'll give us two of those. Two, it goes to everything, so three times two. That would give us six, and we're done. This equation is balanced. So that's the balanced equation for Ba3N2 plus HF. The type of reaction, again, that's going to be a double displacement because the barium and the hydrogen, they switch places. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.